Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And in today's video, we're actually going to talk about an amazing topic. It's real winter outside, at least in Kiev right now. So I think it's absolutely appropriate to talk about winter outwear and specifically top winter coats for this winter. So something that's trendy, something that's comfortable, something that's actually going to be warm because we don't have here in Kiev, at least we don't have the luxury of wearing like a lightweight blazer or like a very lightweight um, jacket, whatever. We need to have some layers, man, because it's really cold outside. So for those of you who are actually in the same wavelength in terms of temperature, this is, I think, going to be the best video to kind of figure out what's your typical outerwear pick for this specific winter. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first jacket we're going to talk about is actually a puffer jacket. I absolutely adore puffer jackets and they're actually really versatile even though they don't look like it because for some people they look really sporty or just too sporty for their liking but actually I absolutely love them because they're so easy to style and they're amazing to style with some classical pieces because there's going to be some balance of styles in your look once you balance out those styles. So for example you have like let's say you have tailored trousers, you have a sweater, you have some heels or no heels, for example, like a classical bag. And for some people, it would be an obvious choice to go for like a coat or a fur coat, for example. But actually, in terms of balancing out those styles in a look, I would actually go into the opposite direction. I'd go for the buffer coat because it's sporty. It has this sporty feel to it. Therefore, it's going to create this depth to your look and your look is going to look more completed, more interesting, more deep. Anyway, like more 3D as opposed to 2D because there's different styles and they're so opposite on opposite ends of the spectrum. There's classy and there's something sporty. They're totally different. And that's something that creates this beautiful tension if you asked, in a look, which looks absolutely beautiful. And once you take it off, you still have your classical look. But once you go out, this is going to give you more, like a more proportionate look in terms of styling. Also, I'd never shy away from puffer coats once you're wearing, for example, like skirts or dresses, because once again, they're really romantic. So it's a totally different kind of style. If you think about it and then they're sporty which is a different style as well therefore they're going to combine beautifully they're going to create a more unique interesting look so for example let's say you have a go day or a pleated skirt you have a sweater or you have a long sleeve and a blazer with that skirt and then you have for example tracking boots which are sporty in and of themselves and then you have a puffer coat and this is going to give you this depth this beauty to your look because it's going to be so versatile and you can switch those tracking boots for like uh, riding boots for example something more classy still with this puffer coat and I usually suggest going for a midi puffer coat or maxi puffer coat because first of all it's really comfortable and second of all it styles better with different kind of clothing in your closet, especially the length of your clothing is going to look more interesting and completed with a midi or a maxi puffer as opposed to a short puffer and also it's not that comfortable, not that warm. So therefore with this look you're going to have different styles, you have, you're going to have like different perspectives on your look and it's going to be more completed, more interesting, more beautiful, etc, etc. So I'd always suggest thinking about puffer coats, not only in those cases when you're wearing like a tracksuit or you're going like for a walk outside, going for a walk with a dog, but actually for those cases, for your everyday cases, when you're wearing something really classy and you want to really balance it out. The next coat we're going to talk about is something you cannot omit from from your winter closet it's classic wool coat and I'd definitely go for a long wool coat so something really long really warm something that's going to look more complementary to your clothing and different lengths of your clothing first of all and second of all if you're going for a wool coat in and of itself it's not going to be that warm 
So what I'd suggest going for is styling it with a slim puffer, for example, like a Uniqlo heat tech puffer, or I'd suggest going to your tailors and then getting this like very warm heat tech kind of layer that is going to make your coat even warmer. And this layer could be removable. So for example, you can put it on once it's winter and once the winter is gone, you can take it out and then you can wear your coat in spring, autumn, whatever, whatever. So coats are amazing because they're classy, because they're this very basic, understandable, unique piece in your closet. And because they're so classy, I'd suggest actually going for something more sporty and casual to pair it with. So for example, if you're going for a classic coat, I go for jeans and a lawn sleeve or jeans and a sweater or a tracksuit because there's going to be this difference of different styles. Therefore, it's going to look more unique and interesting and your look is going to have this dimension because of it, because these styles are so on the opposite end of the spectrum, which is really interesting and um, kind of beautiful, something to meet the eye and like something that is going to, you know, complete your style in a better way as opposed to something very linear, like classy, 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 classy. So classic coat is amazing. I'd suggest, as I've said, to go for a midi or a maxi coat. And the best pairings would be, in my opinion, like a tracksuit, jeans, something really casual. Obviously, you can always go for something really classy for an night out or for a special occasion. But in other cases, I'd actually really go for something with different approaches to style to create a better looking outfit. What I think is really important also in your coat, not only you have to warm it up by adding those like heat tech layers in your tailor shop, whatever, whatever, but actually you need to make sure that those wool coats are actually wool. I'd suggest going for 70% or more wool because it's going to keep you more warm. I absolutely actually love cashmere coats because they're much warmer. They're also really, really soft and they're really, really nice to the touch. So therefore they're, you know, more usable. And also make sure that that your coat, any kind of outer layer, outerwear for that matter, is whitey and roomy enough to fit in all of the things that you wear underneath. So for example, um, always make sure to avoid those cases when you have a lot of layers underneath. So for example, you have like a shirt and then you have a jumper and then you have a blazer and then you're trying to fit this whole thing into a very very narrow sleeve of your outerwear which is an absolute nightmare so always make sure to purchase these specific winter outerwear pieces that are wide enough especially in terms of sleeve width so that you can end up with a beautiful balanced out looking outfit without trying to fit everything and stick everything into your sleeve and therefore ending up looking really kind of messy because it's so like tight and it's also really uncomfortable. So the best wool coats I'd go for are structured wide sleeve. I'd go for even like a wider exaggerated sleeve and definitely midi or maxi length. The next coat I'd go for, and or like an outerwear piece I'd go for for this winter is definitely a fur coat. And I'd go for a vintage repurposed fur coat for that matter, just not to add more harm to the world that's already like full of harm to different species. So I'd usually go for some natural coloring with these vintage fur coats. And there's so many brands that do an amazing job of upcycling those vintage fur coats. And therefore, first of all, they're not going to waste. They're giving them new life and they look absolutely beautiful and stylish and modern. They have this beautiful cut and length and etc. And once again, I definitely go for something on the wider side, something to fit in everything that you have underneath and also something on the longer side to, first of all, make you feel more comfortable and warm. And second of all, to pair it with everything you have in your closet. So vintage fur or faux fur that looks like the real one, that's what I'd go for. So 
so for example there was an amazing like a very beautiful um, faux fur coat by a Ukrainian brand called Katimo and that's one of the faux fur coats I definitely go for because I'm usually opposed to them because they don't look natural and that one really did and uh, also make sure there's this fur coat is composed of like basically one whole piece of fur as opposed to like horizontal lines of fur that look really outdated and kind of you know not really stylish and beautiful and do not definitely elongate your look so in terms of styling what i'd go for because fur coat is so classy it has this like very vintage -y feminine feel to it i definitely balance it out with something masculine like trousers or jeans or a tracksuit black tracksuits actually look amazing with vintage fur and some sweaters jeans uh, some shirts blazers whatever whatever no heel or low heel and of course for the night out for your evening out for going to the theater etc etc you can always pair it with like a dress tights skirts whatever you want but most of the time i'd go for this pairing where it doesn't end up too feminine and i mean the fur coat and the last piece of advice i have for this like guide for winter outdoor clothing i'd go for shearling vintage aviator shearling lined because first of all it's really really comfortable i'd go for a length that's basically like the middle of your body it ends over there not too short not too long to balance your proportions out and um, because it's so kind of boyish and masculine in and of itself i'd pair it with something either casual or feminine so for example skirts so like a pleated skirts and hiking boots or riding boots would be amazing to pair it with a shirley navigator jacket and always make sure because there's so many jackets like this in the mass market always make sure that you're going for an actual shirling if you're living in a climate where it's actually really cold during the winter because those faux shirling coats are not really warm enough to warm you up during the winter so the best brands i'd go for in terms of shirling aviators so for example we have an amazing brand kulakovsky here in ukraine they do an amazing job with these aviators also tried and true acne studios amazing work with leather and shearling and they're really really warm and um, i'd go for also in terms of luxury market balenciaga they do amazing coats and also if you want to go for the middle market i'd look into sandro and their shearling aviator jackets which are also good quality beautiful price etc etc so one piece of advice i'd always give if you're looking for something that's in the mass market price point but definitely has more quality to it i'd go for a vintage shirley aviator jacket and those could definitely be found in vintage markets in secondhand shops they're amazing always go for the men's section in there they're oversized beautiful roomy enough to fit the thickest of your sweaters they look absolutely stunning so those are definitely the way to go and if you're willing to go somewhere and buy something i definitely usually prefer vintage market because it's so unique and beautiful and cool and there's so many amazingly quality pieces over there so this is it for this video let me know in the comments below which one of these outerwear pieces is your favorite for winter for this winter or for any winter for that matter and um, i'll see you in the next video bye